Okay, removing the headrest. That's the very first part of the installation. And uh, there's a couple little secrets. And uh, on some Fords and almost all GM products, there's a little tiny hole, minute, looks almost like a pinhole. He pushes it in there. And at the same time, he uses his other hand to be able to pull it up. And then the headrest comes right off. So that's the secret. Other than that, it only goes up and down and locks. So you need to use that little tiny piece of metal to get in there to get into the pinhole. Okay, step one, you gotta put it on. Making sure that you're working with the top and the bottom and in the right sequence. So that is the top because it's longer and there is no elastic on the top side. There's no hooks or elastic hooks like there is on the bottom. The bottom shows all of the hooks on the top side. You generally don't find it on the top side. That's how you can identify the top from the bottom. And that is the bottom is the seat and the top is the seat back. So, okay, go ahead and put it on. This is step one. Get it on there. Kind of do it like, like you're tugging down your shirt to keep it tucked in. And Michael, give it the karate chop. That's it, step one. Step two now is taking the, uh, the bottom and getting it to fit into it. And if you see the elastic straps, some companies have two. Uh, this company in particular has three. And what you gotta do is take these little um, elastic hooks and put it down between the, the back and the seat. And you can do it by hand. Or if you buy one of these handy dandy tools, Michael can show you how he uses the tool. So there's two ways of doing it. But fingers are good. Just make sure you take off your rings and your watches. You just don't want to scratch your original seats. Now you've seen that all three straps are completely cut, uh, pushed underneath the seat. They're ready to go. And we have not hooked them yet. Those three um, pieces of elastic need to be brought all the way underneath and you hook it to someplace underneath that you feel comfortable with. No wires, no motors, nothing that moves. Try to look for the coils that are up underneath. That's what you do. Some cars have plastic coils now. Some have traditional metal coils. Just like an old-fashioned couch is what you're looking for is to hook it to coils. And you pull these three. It's really important to pull these three as tight as you possibly can. And most likely, this elastic wraps around the back of the seat and it comes out to right around here. Right around this area underneath the seat is where uh, you need to start looking for. Step three, now we're gonna put the seat bottom on. And Michael, go ahead, there's three straps on this particular model. Some, some of them have two, but this has three. And now we're gonna put the front part down. So we're only on step three. He's using the elastic binding, and then we're gonna put the elastic straps now. And again, you want to go as far back as you can possibly feel or see. And, you know, using the light from your phone or a flashlight wouldn't hurt. It really wouldn't hurt because there's not normally any space underneath. And as you can see, you know, be careful. Make sure it doesn't, you don't let go and it snaps you in the face. But once in a while that happens. And the other thing here is to note is that if you can't find anything to hook these front three hooks to, then you can always go and hook it to the rear ones that you just put on in step two. This way it, it creates a complete 360 degree circle around the seat bottom and it's just something to hold to because a lot of cars have very little to look for or hold on to that's not a motor or a wire which you don't want to touch. Okay, step four, now we're down to all the main ones are done. Now we have all the side ones. So Michael's going to show you the side straps. You can see it there in the video. And uh, these are, there's only one on each side. And what that does, it holds the bolster area. Um, it, this particular car seat that we're using as an example is a real low bolster, but most cars, almost all cars have a much higher bolster and it takes up the space that's there. So Michael's going underneath, he's hooking it to anything that is not a wire and not a motor and he comes around, does it, and on the inside, this, this particular car, this is the inside, that's the outside the car door on the other side, 
This one does not have a plastic side skirt on the inside, but on the outside it does. So the tip on that is, on the inside one, where there's no uh, plastic skirt, like a finishing molding, uh, it's easy. You just pull it underneath, and you, again, you hook it to anything you can. But on the outside quarter, if there's a plastic skirt, all you got to do is take the elastic and the hook and shove it between the seat and the plastic. And normally, it's pretty easy to do. And you just kind of put your fingertips in there, pushing in there, kind of like how you're fitting a sheet or something. You just fit it in there, and then you go underneath and grab the hook and then pull it and hook it to some kind of uh, item that's not... Uh, a wire or a, a motor. Now on the side, so this is the, the remainder of step four, is the side elastic. And this one comes off from the back right here. And then what you do is you pull them down at about a 45 degree angle. And that goes all the way underneath. This is number five and this is the final one. So folks, we're two minutes away from being finished. And what we got to do here is punch a hole, cut a hole here and here to be able to accommodate the headrest. And we're gonna use a one-sided razor blade because that's our choice of tools, but you can use a knife or anything to that effect, but we think a razor blade works the best, uh, especially when it's one-sided. But it, real quick, I wanted to come back to step four, three, and two, and go ahead and pick up the seat. And you can get an idea where the 45 degree angle strap came from we went and attached it to itself on the side. That's completely acceptable and one way of doing it. Another way is going from here all the way under, but on this seat, we felt this was the best way to go. Remember, there's no definite rule. You just gotta hook it. And now you can see the, the seat back. You can see underneath. This is how we did it. We went to the coils. We bypassed the wires and we just went underneath. You see the, the three front ones and then the three top ones and then the side ones. Okay, put the seat down. Now we're going to do finish step five and we are going to put the hole in it. First you have to identify where you're going to put the hole. So Michael, identify it. And that is the two plastic ports that the two bars to the headrest goes into. He's identified them and he can see them. And then what you want to do is you want to cut it to be able to cut the fleece. And we normally do it in an X. And he's pretty good at it. Myself, I like to go underneath, put my hand underneath, and put my hand around it. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. I think it depends on how good of quality your seats are originally. So there he is. Michael has identified the uh, plastic, uh, what we call the plug. It's the holder for the metal bar. So he's completely done with the one. And now he's identifying the second one. We're all done. All he's got to do is, is the funnest part here is knowing that you're done and you put the metal poles into the ports. He's got to hold the one side where the little uh, clasp is, the button, and he's put it down, goes through, he hears a lock, and you're good to go. So now we're going to turn it around so you can see the finished product.